Hey what's up guys it's Rob, hope you're doing good. Have you ever noticed how you can tune your guitar perfectly and then when you start playing it, it sounds great, it sounds absolutely fine, but then the second that you give your guitar to somebody else to play, it suddenly sounds way out of tune? I definitely have a friend who plays guitar as well and I'm convinced no matter what guitar you give him, he will make it sound out of tune. And the first thing he'll do is he'll grab the guitar, he'll start playing it, he'll think it's out of tune and then he'll start twisting all the things when it was just perfectly in tune a second ago. So why is that? Why can it be perfectly in tune one second, but the next second when somebody else plays it, it's completely out? Well, today that's what I'm gonna look at and I've got a bit of an idea as to why, because I think often the overlooked problem is the player themselves. And it might even be a tough pill to swallow for some guitar players and they might not wanna really admit it that they might be the issue or they might not even know. But let me show you what I mean. So I've got my guitar and I've just tuned it up. Not only have I just tuned the guitar up, but these strings are completely fresh brand new strings that I've only just put on the guitar, so it should sound pretty good. So let's hear how it sounds. Sounds pretty good, I'm quite happy with that. It might not be 100%, but for my ears, that's pretty much what I would consider a guitar that's nicely in tune. You can get away with it, it sounds good. And I'd be happy with that, and I wouldn't feel the need to start messing with the tuners, trying to get it even more perfect, because to me, that sounds fine playing a few chords or even a little bit of lead or whatever. Sounds fine, I'm quite happy with it. But watch what happens, or listen rather, when I play those same few chords, but I apply a different amount of pressure with my fretting hand. So I'm gonna press down a lot harder on those chords with my left hand. So this is what it's sounding like to start with again. And now I'm gonna press down a lot more and play the same chords again. Notice that sounds a lot different. So again, I'll play it the same way as I did at the start. And now I'll press down a lot more with my fret in hand. And to me, that's noticeably different. You can probably hear it better if I pick the notes of the chord individually rather than just doing a strum. I mean, you could definitely hear when I strummed the chord that it sounded out of tune. But if I just play the chord the same way that I did at first with the same pressure in the beginning, it sounds like this. Doesn't sound too bad, it's not horrendous, but I'll now press down a lot more with my left hand and pick the same notes again. And suddenly that just sounds out of tune to my ears. And I genuinely think this is a big issue with a lot of guitar players that doesn't really get talked about quite a lot. And some people would probably then end up spending money that they didn't need to spend getting their guitar fixed because they think it's broken, they think it's out of tune, they think it needs intonating, they think it needs a setup, when it could be absolutely fine. And the thing that they need to fix is the pressure that they're pressing down with on the fretboard to get either chords or notes or whatever it is. Because obviously some people might just be heavy handed. And like I said, my friend who plays the guitar and you give him a guitar and it sounds out of tune, I would consider him to be really heavy handed, not just with guitar, but like a lot of things in general. So it's definitely worth experimenting with and trying to figure out if your guitar sounds out of tune sometimes, if it can sound better by maybe just pressing the notes down a little bit lighter, like I was doing at first, like this. Because I'm barely pressing down on those, I'm only pressing down as much as I need to to get the notes, which is what everybody should be doing, I feel. I don't feel like you should be really pressing down more than you need to, because that's just gonna create unnecessary tension and pressure on the strings, which will bend them out of tune. Because I can play anything, and I like to find a sweet spot for the amount of pressure that I need to use with my fret in hand to get the note that I need. One thing I do with my students quite a lot is I'll get them to sort of press down on a note, or at least, press their finger to the string, but not fully press it down yet, and then play that note with their picking hand like this. Let's just say I'm gonna press down on the second fret of the third string like this, or, well, that's where my finger is at first, but I'm not pressing down, but my finger is on that string there. And if I pick it, I'm not gonna hear anything because I'm not pressing down on the note yet. But if I slowly press down on the note, but I keep picking it, eventually you'll hear the note actually start to sound like this. And when you actually do that, you realize that you're not actually pressing down that hard and you've got a note suddenly. And that pressure that you've found, that should be what you apply evenly to all of the notes 
on the fretboard because I don't really think that depending where you are on the fretboard it's going to take a different amount of pressure. Obviously providing your guitar isn't horrendous and, and your action isn't like way high up here and way low down there because that definitely means that your guitar needs to set up. But anyway I'm assuming that if your guitar isn't like that but you're still getting some sort of tuning issues that could be why. So if you are finding that you're playing and your guitar sounds out of tune more than you'd like then maybe just experiment with playing some chords or some scales or anything like that and try and play everything and be able to hear everything by just pressing down as little as you can, as lightly as you can to get all of the notes. I was playing a D major chord. And I can put my fingers to all three of those notes there but not press down so that they sound like this. My fingers are in the right place but I'm not pressing down. That's why they sound like that. And then slowly just pick those notes but press down more with my left hand there until I get notes that I want. And there we go, I got some notes and they didn't sound too bad. This guitar might have gone slightly out of tune throughout the course of the video just because, like I said, these strings are pretty fresh so they're still not fully broken in. Obviously there's so many reasons why a guitar could sound out of tune and I'm definitely not saying that it's all to do with the player but it might just be something that people aren't aware of so that's why I'm making this video just to demonstrate that because it's something that I do notice with a lot of my students especially with some of my students that are newer to guitar playing they definitely overcompensate with how much pressure they put on notes and I feel like they press down a lot harder than they need to at first because they feel like that's what they have to do to get the sound when it really isn't and they're actually quite surprised when we do this little method that I've talked about and you find that you don't actually have to put that much pressure to get a note. No matter what it is that you're playing I'm pretty sure that it's something that you can definitely experiment with. Even if you've been playing for a while, this is still something to sort of do as a little exercise every so often just to check that you're keeping the right amount of pressure there, especially if you've not played guitar for a while and you go back to guitar after a little bit of a gap, then, you know, it's worth checking that you're still putting the right amount of pressure down because that sort of keeps it in practice when you obviously when you're playing a lot, you're going to be keeping uh, used to the pressure that you're pressing down. So suddenly if you go from playing a lot to not playing very much, then you want to check that you're still maintaining that. So anyway, that's it for today's video. It was just something that was on my mind as I was putting fresh strings on my guitar, the whole tuning and that sort of thing. So I hope this video helps anybody who might be having some tuning issues with their guitar or their playing as just something to think about and experiment with and potentially stop you having to spend any money getting a guitar fixed that doesn't need to get fixed. It's just something to put into practice for your overall technique, which could just be the issue. As I said, could be a bit of a tough pill to swallow, but hopefully not. So I hope this video helps anybody in that situation. So anyway, thanks for watching this video. Hope you're all staying safe, hope you're all well. If you enjoyed the video, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. So thanks for watching. Oh,